The idea that no person is above the law is a bedrock principle of American justice. No man is above the law, no matter what the crime. And I agree with you. No, no man is above the law. No person is above the law. No one is above the law. No one is above the law. No one's above the law. No one is above the law. No man is above the law. Nobody is above the law. No one is above the law. No man is above the law. He has to be held accountable. He's not above the law. No one's above the law. Either that or any other title put you above the rule of law. And no one is truly above the law. It's above the law, which is foundational. No one is above the law, even a former president. Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of It's Different When Democrats Do It. This time we have the utterly insane theatrical performer and now bona fide insurrectionist Democrat Jamal Bowman who pulled a fire alarm in order to delay an official act of Congress, which I'm told is worse than 9-11 and the Civil War combined. The QAnon shaman who's on video getting a guided tour from Capitol Police was sentenced to 41 months for a felony charge of obstructing an official proceeding. Oh, that was different. In fact, pulling a fire alarm, false reporting, and obstructing an act of Congress are all crimes. But luckily for Bowman, the standards that Democrats and the media enforce against their political opponents are not the same standards that they are held to, as you're going to see in this completely bonkers clip. Just for some context, this portion of the clip comes after the host had been ranting about Republicans for five minutes, and specifically the fact that it was McCarthy who mentioned Bowman's attack on democracy. Last thing I want to mention, and then we're going to take a quick break. Um, there was a mention of Jamal Bowman, Congressman um, Jamal Bowman, and the pulling of some sort of fire alarm. I just want to... Uh, uh, um, excuse me. What? Some sort of fire alarm? It was a fire alarm. The same kind that everybody has seen their entire lives. The same kind that says pulling it will activate the fire alarm. But see how she's only a couple of words into this water carrying? And she's already parsing out what constitutes a real fire alarm. Um, there was a mention of Jamal Bowman, Congressman um, Jamal Bowman, and the pulling of some sort of fire alarm. And I just want to read for you some of the reporting so you understand what actually went on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. Sure, sure. Tell us what really happened. <laughs> um, there were some reports that began to emerge about Representative Bowman, who was um, seen pulling some sort of fire alarm um, in the Cannon House office building <laughs> earlier today. We got a statement on that. Um, saying Congressman Bowman did not realize he would trigger a building alarm as he was rushing to make an urgent vote that Congressman regrets any um, confusion. Just to clarify some things on that. Oh, great. Excuse me, what? Is that what you're doing here? Clarifying? Clarifying our confusion. Our confusion that Bowman accidentally pulled some kind of fire alarm. Is Bowman too stupid to understand what a fire alarm is and how it's activated? Sort of like this reporter who thinks it's some kind of fire alarm as if there's other kinds. According to Newsbusters reporter Alex Christie, she gave this report yesterday at 3.32 p.m. Eastern, which would have been well after the photos had been released of Bowman clearly pulling a fire alarm in order to delay a vote. Isn't Bowman a former school principal? You want me to believe that a former school principal has no idea what a fire alarm is. I worked in the school, the school for anymore. 20 years. You're just screaming. I was a teacher. I, I was screaming before you what came and interrupted every, me. Every, I worked in the school for 20 school. years. So I worked in the school 20 years. In every school, I was a teacher. I was a school care. counselor. I was a middle school principal. <laughs> Bowman be charged for any of this or what I'm more interested in if the media will continue to carry his water almost certainly they will based on the responses I've already seen some of the media like Chris Hayes from MSNBC are trying to excuse him saying that there's signs up at the door that make it very confusing but unfortunately for them those signs weren't even up and also the signs aren't confusing because they refer to pushing the door open not pulling a fire alarm on the completely separate wall just chalk it up as yet another reason never to trust the Democrats or their media. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one.